Welcome everyone to yet another webinar on technical analysis for profits. Technical analysis for profits has been the endeavor from growth avenues to inculcate the need for knowing technical analysis in a much better manner. And Dr. Narayan, our chief mentor, has guided us to ensure that we share with us what we learn and to we are shared with us and we are continuing to take this tradition forward by sharing with you what we all know. And the aim of technical analysis profits is just to reinforce the need to revisit the basics better so that you get to learn a much more, the subject much more better. So today's webinar is focused on uh, a very interesting and fascinating subject called line studies. Line studies, as uh, we all know, uh, we have been using it continuously. And uh, whenever we open a chart, we apply some tools and uh, be it a trend line or a moving average or be balling a band all these are part of the line studies some of you are aware of it some of you aren't but today my endeavor is to leave you with some important basics of line studies and also show you what all fascinating areas are there in this great study markets have been quite choppy and uh, the volatility has literally made it difficult for us to dissect or decipher the market movement and also identify certain trading opportunities. So one should actually look at these times to educate oneself about the various concepts, be it either technical or fundamental. It's a good time to learn. So we should always revisit the basics, get a hang of what's happening, what are the various tools which we all use, get to learn it better. And that's what technical analysis profits are all about. In technical analysis profits, if you visit our website, or also you can subscribe to our uh, playlist, you will get to know that there are interesting subjects which have been discussed. And we begin with the elementary level. As we progress in our career as a trader or as an investor, or even as a technical analyst, we sometimes tend to ignore the basics. And uh, that's where it hits hard. So let's go getting back to what we are going to discuss today. It is a subject of line studies, like I mentioned. And what I'll be doing today is I'll be taking you through a concept of trend line. But before that, we would like to know how many we would like to share with you what what is a growth avenues foundation all about. Growth avenues is a company which has been founded by Dr. Sikin Aran and it has got a fantastic wealth of experience and wisdom. Dr. Naran has been in the market for more than 37 years and his knowledge and wisdom is passed on to people like me and my team who are fortunate and privileged to be trained by him. The growth Avenues has got three areas in which one can associate with us. First is the area of advisory where both of you advise the corporate HNIs and uh, give them what kind of trade action to take on multiple asset classes. If you're not interested in the advisory, then we also have the section of training, which one of these, which you are watching right now, it's technical analysis for profits. Under technical analysis for profits and other webinars, we share with you our knowledge and also our methods, which I'm very sure that you would, have, you would not be able to find in many, many videos. Our videos are content rich, feature rich, and focusing on making you rich. So that's how we structure our webinars to give you complete value for money. So that's our training area for you. If you are not interested either in the advisory section or on the training section, then you could visit our fund management part, which is the discretionary fund management with Dr. Narayan personal supervisors. So that's how we divide our area of expertise. And that is a way in which you can engage with, you can engage both avenues and associate with us and get on your path to profits. So that's a brief introduction for people who are not aware about growth avenues. For more details and other interesting informations and a lot of innovations keep coming up in our company because Dr. Narayan believes and he strongly believes and he advocates it to our team that innovation is the foundation of excellence. So that's why you will see that we have been surviving for more than 25 years as, as an advisory house, rendering 
lot of training to corporates, lot of in various find advisory in various kinds of format, and we always stay ahead of the curve because our leader and our mentor is always passionate about giving value for money and at the same time ensuring that technology is at the forefront. So if you visit our website, if you see our webinars, or if you see our products, we are always innovating. So that's our middle name. You can say that we are always an innovator in the field of capital markets advisory. So having given you a brief introduction about our company, let's move on to what's the agenda for the day. Today, we'll be focusing on what exactly is line studies. Some of you may know, some of you may be hearing it for the first time. So this whole gamut of technical analysis has got various sections and the base which begins is the line studies portion. So the line studies portion is like the elementary phase which goes, takes you from the basics to the advanced. So today I'll be sharing with you what exactly the line study concept is and how you can use this line study concept to take your ability and in analyzing the markets and also trade the market better. So moving on to the first slide, we see that the markets are a little bit tricky at the moment and they continuously provoke us to think more because it's not the same market what was existing say 20 years back. Now you need to be aware of the domestic sentiment. You need to be aware of the global sentiment. So what really happens is that the more you engage with the market, you realize that the movement behind the prices is more a psychological one. So ultimately the emotions are getting played out. So these emotions are actually reflecting in the price movement and these price movement are reflecting the trends. So having said that, you need to understand what is the current trend in the market without which participation in the market is going to be difficult and that's why the title slide is named as market depiction <clears throat> because market is depicted in the form of trends the trends can be in any form it can be an uptrend it can be a downtrend or it can be an absence of trend in market there are only two kinds of trend one is an uptrend or a downtrend and people some way say sideways trend but there is nothing called a sideways trend. It's just an absence of trend. So trends keep forming, forming peaks and troughs, which is uh, important for us to know whether the markets are going to head higher or head lower. So identification of peaks and troughs are critical when you are doing analysis of the charts. And the trends have been divided into various phases. For those who have uh, visited uh, the Dow theory, which is one of the most important tenets of uh, and foundation of uh, the technical analysis folklore. The basics of technical analysis must always begin with understanding the concept of Dow theory. Though it may be around 100 years old, but still its value is very, very prevalent in today's times as well. <clears throat> because the concept of trend is not going to change. Technical analysis is all about price and time. And it's a continuous cycle which keeps on revolving and repeating over periods of time. So it's important to understand the concept of trend and that's why I'm trying to emphasize that reading a trend of a chart is very critical because the technical analysis subject itself is built on the assumption of trends. So now when we progress to the understanding of the market reality, which is where we are all involved today, we all we should remember for those who know the Dow theory, they would definitely know that this particular definition is uh, or tenet is very very evident to them. But for those who are not aware, let me tell you that this is the most important. I am re-emphasizing the most important tenet of the Dow theory, which is trend is in force until there is evidence of reversal. This very clearly states that we need to be aware of the trend and we need to be ready. I'm repeating, we need to be ready to act when the trend changes its direction on either side. If it's an uptrend, you should be ready when the trend reverses down and you should be ready when the trend reverses up. 
if you are on the short side when it's going up you should be ready to exit your longs when you're on the long side so having said that what near what is the clear uh, path or what is the road map which one should take that's what i have highlighted here any market participation should have a you should first identify a trend reversal then b you have to measure the potential of the move then c you have to define the risk and d ultimately is the execution because sometimes you always wonder i should have been in the stock i had identified this much earlier like for example some moves like bharat forge yes i had identified it much earlier but did it act on it that is the ultimate question and unfortunately in the market that is the ultimate truth so are you able to handle that question when it comes to you that's what you need to find out so how will all this be possible all this will be possible when you have certain tools with you in your arsenal it's like you are, you are have you are a commando you are having multiple guns or multiple bullets or uh, various kinds of tools where you can shoot down the army but the point is are you a, do you know how to use them or do you fire them when it's required that's going to be the challenge and that's what we should all be geared up for so what are we looking at we are looking at the turning points the identification of the turning points is the most critical element of technical analysis we continuously engage with the market to identify the turning points i do know that you will not be able to identify all the turning points but it is important that you are able to understand where there is a struggle between the supply and the demand and where the forces of supply could overwhelm the demand or where the force of the demand could overwhelm the supply and that's where you will gain an edge in the market the one who has an edge either in terms of information or in terms of knowledge in the terms of prices so in the terms of information there are only a handful who have got the edge in terms of information however in terms of knowledge and in, the, in area of technical analysis with the help of tools you certainly can have an edge over your other competitors or your other market participants because ultimately market participants have to take the profit share of somebody else so that's how you need to be constantly watching the market that's why identification of turning points is very critical in an up trending market or in a down trending market these turning points in the market are called as pivots and pivots are very very critical for one to know when are the markets shifting the change so if it's an up in an up trend you need to look at whether the prices are running into some resistance and now the prices could cool off or in the same way if it's in a down trend the the bearish pressure is receding and now we could uh, expect a revival and that's how you will be able to identify the pivot and take suitable action so that's the concept of turning point which one should continuously watch out for and that's what is the main focus for blind studies so the entire subject of blind study is helping you to identify the turning points and it gives you a great understanding and a great leverage in terms of timing and also in terms of identifying the suitable turning points which could probably lead to you to take a quick action technical analysis is all about probability and nothing is certain that we all know so how can you sharpen your probability is what the focus of technical analysis and line study does a great job mind you it does a great job in sharpening your area of focus and helping you zero down on the ideal scenario or ideal level from where you could take a position so we have multiple kinds of uh, line study tools we have the trend lines we have the channels we have the pitchfork we have the moving averages we have the bollinger bands there are the kirchner bands we have the fibonacci we have got gan methods so there are various kinds of line studies which are there ranging from the basic 
to the advanced to the more esoteric ones and all of these are equally powerful in helping you get a measure of the market sentiment helping you get an understanding of when the prices are about to shift bias and that's how you can take the action which is required so what does line study help you with and how important is line studies line studies help you identify the trend change it tells you how you can combine it with other sets of tools like you can combine line study with some indicators you can combine line study with some uh, other sets of studies some and you can ensure that you can timing you can time your entry and exit better and always be ahead of your curve so for identification of such opportunities one should be aware of the concept of trends one should be aware of the concept of pivots and that's what this webinar is all about so first study which i am going to share with you today is about trend lines trend lines is one of the most simplest tool mind you it's one of the most simplest tool of line studies but it's only as simple as it looks because you need to know how to identify a pivot pivot is something which is many times ignored by many people but understanding the concept of pivot and using it in a more appropriate fashion is a more elegant way to do your technical analysis you can just draw a line connecting two lines but is it going to be a trend line are you going to join some two random lines you can keep drawing lines anywhere but the point is you should be able to draw a line which will help you decide on what action to be taken ultimately everything be it either technicals or fundamentals or be it some information everything boils down to the action so your focus should be what is the action point and that's where clear understanding of the basics is very important and right now i'm focusing on uh, the trend line we all hear trend line and everyone feels that it's just drawing a line across the chart but i assure you mind me i assure you that once you open a chart and you start drawing trend lines you will definitely face it as a challenge trend lines are the key elements which indicate to you what are the significant price levels which one could take action on as you can see on the uh, line diagram if it's a up sloping trend line it's called an ascending trend line which which continuously gathers support and then once the support is broken you can consider it as a shift in bias in a similar manner this is a descending trend line which says that the supply is continuously on and at a particular moment the supply is overwhelmed and then the demand takes over suggesting that the bearish pressure has receded and the bullish stance has taken over so that is the impact of the trend line trend line like the name suggests it is a line which is connecting a series of pivots which depicts a trend so a series of higher highs or higher lows forms an uptrend a series of lower highs and lower lows forms a downtrend so a line which connects all the highs as you can see in the bottom portion this is a descending trend line and the line which connects all the lows is an ascending trend line so that's how you need to draw trend line but in trend line itself there are certain other concepts which i would like to share with you there are two kinds of trend line one is the standard trend line which is the orthodox trend line which connects the two or more points and it connects the highs and you get an understanding of a trend line it connects a series of highs and series of lows but sometimes connecting a series of highs and series of lows may not give you to a correct picture however there will be certain other pivots which are forming and those connecting those pivots would actually give you a better clarity or a better understanding of what's going to happen if 
a significant change takes place like for example you can see in this chart in this chart itself i have shown you an orthodox trend line and this orthodox trend line is connecting two highs but apart from that it is not giving you much clarity on what exactly is going to happen however if you see the unorthodox trend line it gives you a sense of the market flow and it is connecting a series of lows and this this line this red line which is the unorthodox trend line and when when that is broken you will be able to take action ultimately the focus of trend line is to ensure that you are enabled you are enabled to take some action so it can either be your orthodox trend line or it can be your unorthodox trend line ultimately a trend line should enable you to take an action when the trend shifts so that's what is this concept of uh, orthodox and unorthodox trend line and i have some more examples for you you can see here this is your standard trend line which is connecting a series of highs and here you can see again the trend line acts over a period of one month it has acted to resist the rise and now you can see here those who are aware of candlestick you can see here that there's doji formed here and uh, the prices are continuing to show some bearish pressure however when you move on to an unorthodox trend line you can draw it from any internal pivots which are there within the within the candle you can see here this is the entire range and between that you are seeing here that there is a unorthodox trend line the it is it is said as unorthodox because it is not your convention joining highs or joining lows it is based on the pivots which are formed and that's why you should be aware of the concept of pivot so that you will be able to decide on what kind of trend line should i be drawing now and you can see here that this trend line was broken and then again it was regained very quickly and from here the prices took off so that's how you need to plan your analysis and that's how you need to draw trend lines from reasonable pivots with if you are getting it within a particular range so first you can identify the swing and then you can see if uh, there are some internal pivots which have been developed and then you can use those internal pivots or minor pivots and draw a trend line so that you get a much more clearer understanding of the trend which is in play and take a faster action otherwise if you are going to draw a trend a little bit further away then you will be waiting for that particular trend line to be overwhelmed or a, a price rise to fail and that could actually delay your entry or exit okay moving on to the another concept of trend line this is a important variant of uh, trend line and a uh, integral part of the trend line concept which is called as the degree of slope a slope of a trend line is very critical because the slope determines what is the extent of reversal remember i told you trend trend line is uh, trend is in force un until there is evidence of reversal so a trend line helps you determine till what extent is the rise possible and when is the trend going to reverse so you can see here that the degree of slope is very critical so i have i have shown here two kinds of slope one is the sharp slope and the other is a gradual slope so the first you see here is the first chart is of a sharp slope where the prices have risen quite swiftly however in a sharp slope the rebound or the reversal which happens that stays only for a short while because the reversal is for a very short move and that's why you can see here that the rebound from the red line which is uh, broken it stays only for a short you see only a short decline and then the prices begin to consolidate however on the lower slide you can see a gradual move and the break line and the breakout uh, post the rally or the rise you can see a swift decline so it's important to understand the degree of the slope and the ideal degree 
of a trend line slope is 45 degree it is the optimum degree and that's why a 45 degree line will work quite well in giving you a good uh, understanding of a trend reversal and the extent of its move so along with the degree of the slope another critical aspect is the degree of strength so what do i exactly mean by the degree of strength degree of strength refers to how many times a trend line has been tested trend line as we all know it it, it is touching a series of two or more pivots if it if it is an up sloping trend line it will be touching the lower pivot if it is a down sloping trend line it will be touching the highs so having said that if a trend line is tested more number of times then it gives you great confidence that this trend line is going to hold and if it not and if it is not then we should be uh, we should not be very uh, gungho about uh, the possibility of the move to continue or the move to hold on we should be quick in our uh, action because the degree of strength is very critical so you can see here and in the degree of strength there are two concepts one is the number of touches and the other is the time frame so if the time frame is higher and the degree of touches are more the validity of the trend, trend line is more much stronger than on a shorter time frame and the lesser number of touches so you can see here this is a weekly chart and this is a daily chart of the same stock however you can see on the weekly chart the touches have been more and the ability of the trend line to act as a resistance is also quite good as it has managed to keep the prices on hold and every rise or rise into the trend line has met with some supply so you can see that this is a chart of more than a year and it has managed to hold on and on the same on the same scale if you go on to the lower time frame it is a daily uh, one is a weekly chart other is a daily chart daily chart of the same time frame sees that the prices have managed to go beyond the trend line and then come back again and then somewhere it has failed and in some places it has moved much beyond the trend line and then again it has come back so what i am trying to say here is that the strength of the trend line depends on the time frame of the chart which you are looking at along with that it also depends on the number of touches so these are other another two elements of uh, the strength concept which adds to the strength of the trend line first we saw the slope which tells you the extent of uh, reversal possible and the second is the strength so degree of slope and degree of strength is an important concept of trend lines which sometimes we don't notice when we are drawing a trend line but some emphasis on these basics will help us draw a better or a more efficient one you can see here that was for a resistance and this is for a support you can see here the weekly one has managed to hold on and you can see multiple touches on the weekly one while the daily is not having uh, more than two touches which says that the weekly chart trend line is not a very convincing one but a sorry a daily one is not a very convincing one while the weekly as uh, is more genuine and more authentic and could help the prices rise further so that is the degree of strength so we now come down to another important question which must be uh, popping up in your minds well is there a way to capture the turning points we have seen what are turning points we have seen how a trend line is used to connect the various turning points so how do we exactly capture turning point turning points can be captured using uh, the next step of uh, line study or the next uh, advancement in line study of trend line which is called as the channel so channels are basically two parallel lines which are uh, combined which I, one line touches the respective highs and uh, other line touches the respective lows so if you can see from the chart the line which is connecting the high acts as a resistance the line which is connecting the lows acts as a support 
and the prices continue to recoil touching the high and the low and this continuous oscillation is acting like a channel so you can see here these two lines act as a channel they are two parallel lines basically and uh, the prices continue to revolve or oscillate between these two lines and as a result the touch points can be used as an area for initiating some short opportunity on the upside and some long opportunity on the downside and the target of course is very well very well defined which is close to the channel so that's how the support resistance concept is inbuilt into this uh, trend line and that's how you will be able to capture the turning points so i have some examples for you out here and you can see here that it's been a channel which continuously captures the rise is called an ascending channel you can see here that the prices are continuously oscillating and heading higher till channel breakdown and then there is a follow through after a channel breakdown there should be a follow through and that's where you could actually trade the channel the channel weight would be your target for a down move which it occurs in case of an upward channel if it is a downward channel then a breakout from this uh, channel would be a signal of an up move where again the the upper channel breakout in this case would be your stop loss so that's how a channel trading is done and channels are very prevalent and common in indian markets and you can find that in many b group stocks and it will be a good way to approach those kind of stocks with a channel trading approach so that's how you need to take your concepts of line study ahead that's why line studies as a subject itself like i said at the start it's quite fascinating and sometimes it looks quite simple to draw a straight line but as we keep drawing it we realize how powerful they can be in just giving you a good overview of the script and also give you a good edge about the reversals so we now come to the other advancement which has emerged in uh, the subject of line studies which is called as a median line it has been existing for a while and however but many people are still unaware of this uh, subject as the subject is quite nascent and people use only the elements of trend lines or channels or maybe they go to a moving average but the concept of median line itself is a good fascinating subject and that's what i am here to show you how the trend line studies is quite a revolution in itself you can see here that the median line concept is uh, based on the newtonian principles which is every action has an equal and opposite reaction and the median line concept was uh, used by dr alan h andrews who has developed the andrews pitchfork he has used the concept of median line and then he has developed a tool based on the concept of median line to identify the market reversal points what are we here for ultimately we all want reversals right we all want reversals we all want to ensure that we are there in the market all the time but we are not there to here we are not here to continuously make money we are here to make money when the opportunity arises so when your motto is to ensure that you are there as long as you need to be so that's where you need to know when a when a trend is going to reverse and that's why you need to arm yourself with the necessary tools to identify reversals and for identifying reversals there is no tool like median line because i personally use median line quite a bit and median line is one of the most fascinating subjects unknown to many many people know moving averages is part of the line study many people know bollinger bands as part of line study many people know trend lines as part of line study and of course channels but very very few people know about median lines and that's what i am here to tell you about median lines median lines is a very very interesting concept it uses the concept of pivots pivots is something which we all keep seeing in the market because pivots keep forming all the time prices keep moving all the time prices are history be it an intraday chart be it an end of day chart be it a weekly chart there are going to be pivots all the time but the important point is 
how much of the pivot trading do you really do how much of pivot trading you are able to capture are you able to capture the turning point that is going to be the most critical component of your analysis and once you do that you will be able to master your entry and exit and that's what the median line concept tells you and that's how using the median line study will help you to a great extent and let me tell you that this concept is going to boggle you beyond belief and all this is possible using the concept of median line and pitch four which is there as part of our webinar our webinar is titled simple techniques to channelizing your profits and all this will be covered by me in our webinar in a more extensive manner what you saw now was a brief introduction to the concept of line studies how a line studies should be read how a line study should be interpreted and how you can take this concept of line study to a much better level so what we have here is a webinar which will focus on trading strategies it will tell you how to identify the pivots we will also see how you can get to know the concept of markets better and also find out how you can use the concept of pitch four so the entire focus is aimed at helping you enabling enabling you to get the concept of the markets better and uh, that's the out uh, course coverage for you which talks about what is the concept of pitch four how the pivots are drawn how do you draw a pitch four and how you are able to showcase the uh, how you are able to identify the pitch fork at various levels how you can use a gap to draw pitch fork how you can combine pitch fork with other tools pitch fork is based on a newtonian concept every uh, every action has an equal and opposite reaction and that's what we are going to focus on we are going to focus on how you can use the newtonian concept and combine it with the median line and draw it Pitch fork is a tool which is not esoteric or which is not available only in certain specific softwares. Pitch fork is a very common tool and is available in most of the softwares. However, it is ignored. So that's what I'm going to showcase in, on the webinar, which I'm going to do on 23rd and 24th, where I'll be showing you how to draw pitch fork, how to draw, how to use various concepts of pitch fork, which is the warning line, which is the trigger line, and take your trading elements to a much greater level it's very useful for traders very useful for investors so the entire focus of the program is going to be how to use a pitch fork across asset classes and also useful for how to how do you trade using pitch fork on a shorter time frame or on any time frame. so that's the uh, webinar which is coming up on december 23rd and december 24th which is titled simple techniques for channelizing profits and um, I will be taking the program on uh, December 23rd and 24th. The investment is only 8,000, and for 8,000, you will be getting a four-hour webinar, which will be held on December 23rd evening, 7 to 9, and uh, on December 24th, which is a Saturday, from 11 to 1. And the focus of this webinar is to give you a concept of the pitchfork, along with the concept of what I just discussed. I will be again. Uh, those and taking it further by showing you how to draw a median line how to use it as a pitchfork what are the various trading strategies there will be a set of rules which will be also discussed and along with that there will be also examples which i'll be showcasing and that way it will be a comprehensive webinar which you can start using it from monday so what are the takeaways of the live webinar first is you can ask uh, there will be a q a session where you can ask your questions and you can resolve your doubts then we have a continuous support system our support system is one of the best i'm very sure that there are many youtube videos available but i challenge you i'm telling you i challenge you to ask a question on a youtube video and get a suitable response i'm very sure you won't because at growth avenues we are pioneered in the area of training we have taken classroom training to a great level dr narayan himself has trained more than 50000 students and I have been involved with Dr. Narayan for more than four years. And I have been taking training programs with him. I assist him in corporate training programs. I am conducting webinars. There are some free webinars also on the website which you can see. So right now, I have also started taking 
paid webinars so the whole focus of our learning will be to give you an edge in the market and our knowledge dissemination is 100% focused on giving you a trading edge so after that our post webinar support is fantastic you can ask me any question after the webinar also you have got lifetime access to the webinar you can watch the recording a number of times so people who attend the webinar have got dual benefit they actually watch the webinar they can ask questions sorry not dual you got three you, you can ask me questions online i'll be happy to answer you then there will be uh, the takeaway you can have a lifetime access to the recording and third is you have got continuous support for lifetime so what better can it be so don't waste time get access to this recording get access to the live webinar and get access to the support everything for only 8000 so your investment is 8000 but uh, the benefits will be far far more so i am coming to an end of this uh, technical analysis for profits webinar i am sure that you have got some brief idea about the concept of trend line and how to trade between the lines that's what this uh, technical analysis for profits webinar is all about the concept of uh, the median lines and uh, pitchfork and trading strategies are discussed more in our uh, webinar which you can watch for more other interesting webinars and uh, interesting concepts of uh, technical analysis which we'll be sharing through our uh, technical analysis for profits youtube channel you can subscribe to our uh, video channel by clicking the clicking the button below and get a good understanding of the subject your journey's webinar has got fantastic value for money it has uh, got it has got a good tech support and all this is possible to be viewed on any of your devices be it the mobile be it the uh, your phone or be it your desktop our webinars are accessible across uh, multiple platforms and we have a live chat system where uh, any of our queries can be answered and we also have an email facility where you can send in your queries and you can resolve all your doubts so that way we give you a complete value for money and uh, we give you excellent support to take your learning forward and the whole aim is to ensure that your understanding of technical analysis goes up much for much further so with that we come to an end of this uh, technical analysis for profits webinar i hope you enjoyed the session thank you for watching